Hi, today we are going to be doing a couple of drawings. The first drawing will be of a bald eagle sitting on a tree limb. And the other drawing that we'll be doing will be the number four and the number five and turning those two numbers into something. And the reason we're doing those is because some of you are leaving the fourth grade and going on to fifth grade, and some of you are in fifth grade and getting ready to go on to sixth grade. And so I just thought it would be fun to do those two numbers and to sort of celebrate those two numbers. Okay, so let's get started. Okay, so today we're going to draw the bald eagle perched on a tree limb. And you can use um, either a pencil or a black marker to do your drawing. And if you use the pencil, you'll need an eraser. Um, you can color your picture with um, either colored markers, crayons, or colored pencils. Or you can just leave it black and white, too. I'm going to be doing the drawing in a black Sharpie um, so that you can see it while I'm drawing it. And I'm going to start drawing the bald eagle with his beak. And these beaks um, are kind of, they're sort of, um, they sort of hang down. Um, and so when you draw it, you're going to be making sort of a shape like that. Kind of looks like a, a distorted heart a little bit. And you want to, when you make this, you want to come down about two inches and about over an inch. So it's sort of up here in this top right-hand corner. And then you can do a little center line like that, which separates the top of his beak from the bottom of his beak, and a little air vent right there. And then his head is just a nice round head, and then you want to kind of curve in and then come down like that. And then also a curve in right below his beak. And then you're going to be connecting these two lines with sort of like a zigzag. And the top of bald eagles, they have this white crown. This whole part is really white. So I'm separating it that way. And then the next part of his body is where those really beautiful brown, black wings are. And you can come down and just do some, a line sort of like that. And then the next, the next line will be coming off this head part, this crown. You're going to come down and make his chest and then come straight down. We're going to be building his leg right there. But when you, where you left off over here, come back over there and do a line that comes over and meets that. And this is going to be the top of his leg. And then the bottom section of feathers that are sort of the same color as his uh, white crown are these white tail feathers. And you can just do a like a zigzaggy line like that. And then we'll make his, his foot, which are um, claws. And you could just do three pads like that. So one, two, three. And then his claws, you can do sort of little triangles that, that sort of project out like that. And then we'll make, um, let's give him an eye up here. So do a sort of a upside down U and then a little circle. And there's his eye. And then we'll give him a wing. And you can do a slanted line and do a series of these swirls that come in. And then we're gonna put him on a tree limb that he's perched on. And so if you, you can do any kind of tree limb. You could do one that just goes straight across, or you could do one with a whole bunch of branches and leaves, and that's what I'm gonna do. So I'm gonna start over here at the farthest side, and I'm gonna come up, and I'm gonna do like a little branch there, and then I'm gonna come underneath his claw, underneath his foot, and then I'm gonna come back up here, and I'm gonna do some lines that sort of look like a tree limb that's got some branches and then come off the page. And then I'm gonna come back over here on this side and try to complete the tree limb and give it some little branches that go off. And then 
another little branch there. And then like that. And then this branch that's that he's actually perched on. We can make some lines like this. And these are just, you know, limbs that are on a tree branch. So this is a big branch that's coming off a tree, and these are the little branches. And I'm just going to put a whole bunch of leaves all over the place that will make it fun to color. So you can just do all kinds of leaf shapes just all over the place. So I'm just going to put leaves everywhere. And, you know, these are all I'm doing is I'm making a curve and then another curve and a curve and another curve. And wherever you think a, a leaf would look good, just put it. Trees have all kinds of leaves. You could, you could do a few leaves. You could make different shaped leaves if you want, if you don't want to do them like this. You could do a maple shaped leaf or even just a series of circles would look good. It could be like a eucalyptus tree that has sort of round, sh round shaped leaves. But just put leaves all over the place and then you'll be able to color these in and it will look really, really nice. And just wherever you think some leaves would look good. And then maybe some twigs that just come up and come out of the tree area. You know, when you look up in trees, you see leaves and twigs and branches and all kinds of stuff up there. So the more the leaves, the better, because he's up there hiding. He's looking for something on the ground. And then let's put a sun in the sky. And there is your bald eagle. And I'll show you one that I've colored. Okay, and here is a bald eagle that I colored. Um, and I used um, just colored markers. And so um, I colored the, um, you know, the sky blue and I left his, his head and his wings and his back feathers, his, his lower feathers white and put in some green leaves on the tree and colored the branch of the tree brown. And then when I did the sun, I put some more yellow in the sky and I topped his the side of his head and the top of this wing and the top of these tails with the yellow just to look like he is getting some light reflection from the sun. And that was it. And it was a lot of fun to color. And I hope you guys have fun coloring yours too. Anyway, hope you liked drawing this bald eagle. Thank you. Hi, as I mentioned, we are going to draw some um, numbers and create some drawings around these numbers. And the reason um, we're, we've decided to do four and five is for you that are in fourth and fifth grade and that are moving out of fourth grade into fifth grade and for the fifth graders that are moving over into sixth grade. So we thought it would be really fun and special to do these two numbers to celebrate you and your, and your grades. So um, I've gone ahead and drawn um, three fours and three fives just to get started. And I'm gonna just be using a marker. And um, these are just three little drawings made out of these two numbers. And the number four is, um, you can do all kinds of fun things with a four, but I've decided to do these three with these um, with this number four. So the first one is going to be a fish. And we'll do some little scales, which will be fun to color. And his little face 
and an eye and a happy face. And then the next four is going to be an umbrella at the beach. And then the next four is going to be a sailboat on the ocean. And then the number five, we're gonna make this first five into a milkshake. We'll put the milkshake drink right there. And then this next five is going to be a cherry with its stem. And this next five is going to be a bird. So we'll come up and give him some wings on this side. And then this big part of the five is going to be another set of wings and then his long tail feathers. I'm gonna go like that. And then we'll make a little nick for him like that and give him an eye. And there you go. And then I've also colored him for you guys so you could just see how I colored him. So I made the fish really fun and um, gave her orange and pink and the umbrella, yellow and green, and made the sailboat with a red hull and in some blue water. And I made a strawberry milkshake and a red cherry and a golden bird. So there you go, the number four and the number five for you guys. Okay, thank you, bye.